Hi, right, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's battle is a Clan Wars battle. Uh, so we're in the current uh, global map season, and it's uh, Big Daddy Clan versus uh, the Lion Clan. <coughs> Alright, so uh, we're following Bosnich in his subject 279A, but we'll show you more of the um, tactical views here. So, I've got um, two BRs and three mediums and one arty. And you can see there, one of their EBRs has already pushed up hard. Probably another one um, where Fitzy is, and there he goes. So they've spotted the um, heavy push into the forest. Uh, so we're going to try and disguise the move and head up to the hill. But you can see Artie's already zeroed in on the team there. Um, so good predictability there from that Arty player, which happens to be Oz Nemesis, so we know he's a great Arty player. Anyway, Heavy's moving up relatively slowly, of course, and I've got CS63s pushing the 279Es just to try and get them up the hill a little bit faster. You can see one of the enemy CS63s taking up a position there at um, F7. It's a pretty common spot um, to basically try and highlight tank movement and it's very difficult to dig them out so I'm not going to attack that position straight away until we get perhaps better angles on them or yeah tanks move around so see Fitzy's lost a bit of health already in the EBR and you can't see everything quite on the map because a lot of it depends on the vision of the player that uh, we're sort of observing from. So the tanks down the bottom, you can see them on the mini map there, and you can see the enemies pushing in um, 279Es down the bottom of the map. Well, it's good information to know. And we've got a couple of heavies here just waiting, uh, covering the bottom of the hill, but obviously they're not pushing up here, just at least not just yet. So firing a mix of ammunition there, including HE, which we know is not going to pen, but it can be annoying and does do a bit of attrition anyway. Particularly if you can't pen your other ends, you may as well get some hit point damage out of them. Uh, but uh, so far, no casualties. And the only odd thing about this, we can't see the total health of the team, so it's going to have to work on the um, health bars there and the tank numbers. Alright, without swapping some damage here. And the enemy's gone dark, so just pulling back here, not wanting to be arty targets. They've got potentially more than one arty. Don't know exactly yet. There's three unknowns there. One of them will be Artie. We know that's Oz because uh, that was an Artie shell that fired in and he was the only one unknown at the time. So you've got to put these things together and sort of make a mental map of the enemy team and uh, who you think might be in particular vehicles as well. There's sort of well-known players for types of types of vehicles so we can't tell yet whether Flying Circus or PP power playing arty, they were just unspotted when they fired and haven't been spotted yet, so you can't tell what vehicle they're in. Anyway, they're sort of blind firing the area where the CX-63 was, and uh, yeah, trying every option to take some damage out of the enemy. And yes, that CX-63 has already lost a fair chunk of health. Fitzy trying to keep him lit up without getting too much damage himself. Oh, and there we go. Artie's managed to take out Actually, that was Bosnich. Managed to take out the um, EBR 105. So, still got one left, of course, and we haven't seen much of their team. This is standard clan wars, fog of war, so you don't know the enemy composition at the start, and until each vehicle is spotted, you don't know exactly what their disposition is. Okay, it looks like they're making a push here uh, with the heavy tanks on the hill. So, Bosnich being the most forward person just draws back a bit. And Artie tries to take a chunk out of him while he's doing that. So good timing there from um, Oz. And they're starting to put some damage in, but we've got some good, um, almost impenetrable tanks. Well, not completely impenetrable, but uh, yeah, very suited to being held down here. And they're pushing up in the open, so if you can poke out and get their lower hulls, you've got a decent pen uh, for the chieftains. And the weak spots on the 279E, typically the Commander's Capoli, and that's very small, it's definitely shootable. There's some sort of weakness on the front plate, shown in previous videos. 
While we're talking, we did lose one of our EBRs, so Fitzy unfortunately been taken out. And we're starting to take some toll on the enemy. That was their I-7, but this is basically brawl here. So Hardy contributes. And yeah, we're just rolling back, trying not to get too isolated. Just open to Fitzy there, but now we've got the CS-53s coming from the back and trying to put attacks on the enemy team there. And here we go, got one of the enemy team here. Can't quite read the name on that one, but um, uh, the chieftain, and he's sort of paid the price of getting isolated there. So this is all about focus fire. Just looking for the lowest hit point targets, trying to get them out of the game as quickly as possible. And uh, listening to the callers who are calling out those targets. So this brawl still working itself out. Six tanks each lost. So it's still very even. And we've just got to resolve this part of the brawl. You can still see the enemies started to put tanks on cap. And now we're sending some tanks back. But they've only got one chieftain left up the top here. So this will be cleared out fairly quickly. And then we'll move tanks back down to the cap area. So there's not too many players you can play on this map really, well there's, there's quite a few different players, but basically the two strong areas of the map are the bottom part of the map and the top part of the map. No one tends to go through the middle because you can get attacked from multiple sides there. So pushing tanks down, Killer Elmo in the C63 taking a hit there potentially from an EBR, but more likely being spotted by the EBR and then shot at by a Chieftain. Looked like a bit of a high roll for an EBR anyway. Bosnich finding targets down in the base. Let's see if we can get some vision there. So, take Bosnich's view for a moment. Now that shot didn't even connect with anything. So he's just searching out different targets here. So now it's really just a matter of keeping these tanks down the bottom spotted. And trying to get some damage, as much damage taken out of them as possible. And they've got to move out to basically take shots back, so it's up to them to basically prosecute the attack from their side. But we've already got a four tank advantage, and this is now what uh, you're really looking for, is open match where you can bring higher numbers of tanks to a battle and take start taking them out with greater firepower. And that's really the, you know, the key aspects of Clan Wars, once you've got your tactics right and you're in the right part of the map, do you have more tanks than the enemy in that spot? That's really what the callers are trying to achieve. In any case, we started whittling them down, although they've got some back, but uh, managed to finally get rid of almost their second last 2719, and the last one remaining. It's just there, and he's doing the right thing. He's trying to keep a, an upwards pose here. Makes the most of his frontal armor, and putting some heat back, literally, <laughs> into our tanks here. just not connecting, but uh, trying to get side shots where they do appear. He can't be facing every tank the same way, but you can see he's just working his way around. And that shot definitely connected, to, did it do any damage, that's the question. Anyway, Bosnius needs to move in a bit closer. And he's still not spotted by the 279E, which is good, but uh, they do have an EBR around somewhere, and they do have a Chieftain, which is not near the um, 279E. So he does get spotted, and that's most likely by the EBR. Again, can't see it. There's Chieftain as well. Let's uh, zoom out again and show where the other tanks are. So we've got Rudy and Kaboom moving down, and Rands in Chieftains, and being backed up by the GWE. So just looking to take out this 279E, and he goes down. So now it's just the last two tanks. The Chieftain over here, and the EBR, who is definitely in the area. He's lighting up tanks and there's uh, probably one more shot on that chieftain to take him out and the EBR is taking out Kill Elmo and they're effectively been spotted further back in the map there but uh, EBR by himself is not going to win the game now so it's just a matter of systematically getting them out and the Bosnich and the 279E being the most forward it's uh, interesting how quick 279Es can actually move when they need to he takes a hit on his tracks and chooses to go for the um, repair kit and then gets a shot in on the EBR. So the EBR is now down to uh, one shot. 
and he takes a shot on Bosnich, but uh, gets taken out, and Rudy takes out the chieftain. So, and that is the battle. So well done, Lime, but good, strong battle there. But uh, we have vanquished them. All right, I'll just finish with a quick overview of the team scores. So we've got um, two tanks over 5k, both 279s, Boz and uh, Tight Teacher, and Flying Endeavour on the other side got the most damage there with 4.6. I think it was, might have been the last one there. And a couple over 3k, which is a good performance there. And I was didn't have a great impact, only doing 11.25. And how do we go with our GW? Yeah, he did 2.4, so Mr. Savage, well done. And what did it cost? Well, it would have been, hopefully there would have been clan reserves running, but it's not showing there, so getting a loss of 77k. Um, but yeah, a lot of ammo spent there. Boz doing 8k, or 6k, I should say. So great result there for Boz and for the team. And... We hope that you like this, so if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, we'd like you to do that as well. And uh, we'll have more great content to follow, so thanks for watching.